Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to add a carousel or a page of you into your React Native app. So basically what that is, is kind of like when you have um, pages that you want to be able to scroll through, so slide through, um, and you can do it vertically or horizontally. It'd be typically like an image with some text would be quite common, um, maybe with a call to action. You've probably seen them a lot on um, websites, so yeah, I'm going to show you how to add that to your app. So you're going to want to import page view from React Native page view, and you will have wanted to have previously installed that package. You can give that a style and you can also set the initial page, which I'm going to set to zero. Any children inside um, the page view are rendered as, um, as different um, pages that you can scroll through. I'm going to show you that in a moment. So I'm just going to add some styling for my page and I'm just making it flex one. And I'm also going to give it a background color of red. That's just so you can sort of see that it's taking up that whole space available. Um, and then from there you'll be able to know that it's, um, that's what the contents like will be able to be shown in that space. I'm also going to go align self as stretch just so it fills up that um, available space. So when I save it, you can see the whole thing's red. Um, you can actually see that it goes all the way up to that status bar. So I'm actually going to change to using a safe area view instead. That basically means on devices like the iPhone where it's got that um, extra screen space that's not really that usable for your app. Um, you can basically use a safe area of view and it'll put it inside um, that area of the screen so that you're not um, overlapping with the status bar. So I'm just removing that styling of red so that we can get on with creating our different pages. So inside that page of view, I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple of views and those are going to be my pages. I'm gonna give each one a key And I'm just going to put some text. I'm just making this a really simple um, page. If you wanted to do this, you would obviously have more complex um, things you wanted to show. But for my purposes, this is fine. So I'm going to have page one and page two. So the initial page I've set is index zero. So it goes to page one first. And if I slide, it'll go to page two which you could see just then. You can also change the orientation. If you do this, you do need to reload the application and that's because it doesn't automatically handle that sort of change. You can see that's still sort of sliding um, horizontally and it sort of isn't quite working as expected when you change the orientation, so reload is required. See, there you go. You can see it scrolling um, vertically now that I've set it to vertical. There are a couple of events that you can define functions for. So basically when the page scrolls, you can have a function um, that you're going to go ahead and do something. So I'm going to show you how to define that function here. I'm just console logging so that you can see what is passed. Um, if you were wanting to do this, you would look at what, what the console log item is and do whatever action you wanted when the page scrolled. I'm also doing an on-page selected. And I'm also doing an on-page scroll state change. Just console logging for all of these just to keep it simple and just showing you how you go about defining a function that's called when any of these things change or the events are triggered. So 
So if I open up that console and make some changes, you can see that there's a whole heap of stuff logged to console. And if you're interested, you'd want to look into that in more detail. So yeah, so any sort of scrolls or state changes, then it's going to console log. So you can see I can also change that initial page. And if I go ahead and reload the application while I'm at page one, it should take me to page two. And so, yeah, that way you can sort of specify which page you want to start at. I'm going to change that back to being page one, though. And the reload takes me back to page one. I'm going to add a couple of buttons and I'm going to use these buttons to navigate to the different pages. So if I press this button, it'll take me to page one. And if I press the next button, it'll take me to page two. I'm just gonna console.log that first, just to make sure that my arm press is working. And I'll duplicate that button for page two. You can see that I can click that and it'll console log go to page one. I'm going to actually implement that in a few seconds. And I'm just adding the go to page two one. Now in order to actually manually change or programmatically change what page I'm going to be going to, from inside my button on press function, I'm going to need to create a reference to this page of view. So to do that, I'm using the use ref hook and I'm passing that, um, that variable to the um, page of view as the ref. And from there, I can go ref.current and then I can set the page I want to go to. So I'm setting zip to pay to zero for page one and that's because it's zero based indexing so it starts off at um zero and then goes to one and then for page two i'm setting as one just like i said so yeah if i click on this you can see that it navigates me to those pages i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today if you have please like and subscribe for more content all my code will be available on github